Okay, I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about the choose function um, and these binomial coefficients, because really they are the same thing, the choose function and the binomial coefficients. So we're going to calculate the following. Effectively, what I'm saying here is if these were binomial coefficients, all of these are where the power is n. Okay, so this is the power of n, and because it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, it's like we're going on the nth, uh, the nth power and we're just going across with the binomial coefficients. We're going to see if we can explore this more because it's going to help us to understand the choose function better. It's also going to really help you when you go to year two binomial expansion because then it will just be exactly the same as this. So this first one I've got here is n choose zero. Well, I think we know that n choose zero is going to be one. You've got n things and you're picking none of them from it. It makes sense that it's going to be equal to 1. But just to show you why that's true, it's going to be n factorial over 0 factorial n factorial. Well, we know that 0 factorial is 1, so it's just n factorial over n factorial, which is 1. Now, the next one, it makes sense if you've got n things and you're choosing one of those n things, there are going to be n ways of doing that. But let's just show you why this works. So if I have n factorial over 1 factorial, and then it would be n minus r, so n minus 1 factorial. Now this is where our knowledge of what factorials actually are is going to come into play. So remember you, for a factorial, you take the number, you then multiply it by that number but decreased by one, you multiply it by that number but decreased by one, and you keep doing that, but I'm not going to write that down all the way, okay, I'm just going to do this and I'm going to just do like a, a dot dot dot. And I probably should go all the way down to one, I should do times two and times one, but I'm going to probably be a bit lazy, so pardon me for that. And then we get 1 factorial on the bottom, which is just 1, so I'm not going to bother writing it. And then we have n minus 1 factorial. So it's going to be n minus 1. You're going to multiply it by n minus 2, n minus 3. And again, it's going to keep going. I'm hoping what you can spot that will happen here is these bits will cancel. These bits will cancel. These bits will cancel. Even if it went down to the 2 and 1, all of that would cancel. So that the whole thing is just going to be equal to n. Well, this kind of makes sense, right? If we said that the power was n... We know the binomial coefficients go 1, n. Like if it was something that was being cubed, we know it goes 1, 3, 3, 1. It goes 1, n. Okay, let's keep going. We're now going to do n choose 2. So let's write the formula down. We're going to have n factorial over 2 factorial, n minus 2 factorial. n factorial is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2. Whoops, that doesn't look like a 2 times n minus 3, etc. Again, I should go all the way down to 1, but I'm being lazy. 2 factorial is just going to be 2. but And then I'm going to have n minus 2, and keep decreasing that n minus 2, n minus 3. It would keep going, though. I'm just going to do this, because hopefully you can spot what's happening here. The n minus 2s will cancel, the n minus 3s would cancel, the n minus 4s would cancel, until what we get left with is just this beginning section. You've just got the n and the n minus 1 and the 2 here. So you get n and minus 1 over 2. And that 2 came from a 2 factorial, which is just 2 times 1. And now we're going to see if we can do n choose 3. So we've got n factorial over 3 factorial, n minus 3 factorial. Okay, that's going to be pretty much the same pattern as before. You're going to have n, n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3. I'm going to just go one more this time, n minus 4. And again, it would go all the way down to 1, just being a bit lazy. And then we've got 3 factorial, which I'm just going to leave as a 3 factorial for now. And it's going to be n minus 3 factorial. So there'd be an n minus 3, there'd be n minus 4. And that would keep going. I'm not going to bother writing all of them. And you can see what's going to happen here. The n minus 3s cancel, the n minus 4s cancel. And so what we get left with is n, n minus 1, n minus 2, and it's being divided by 3 factorial, which is 6. So I think we can predict what this last one should be. We have n factorial over 4 factorial, n minus 4 factorial. I'm not going to write the whole thing out. I think from this pattern it is going to be n, n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3. Do you notice how each time it's gone n, n minus 1, n, n minus 1, n minus 2. This one's going to have an extra n minus 3. And instead of it being divided by 3 factorial, this was a 2 factorial, but I just wrote it as a 2. It is going to be divided by 4 factorial. And this would just keep going and going, this pattern. So the reason I wanted to show you this is because this are the, these are the binomial coefficients that will work for all values of n.
So it doesn't even have to be an integer. It could be a negative. It could be a fraction. But don't worry about these things too much because these are both in year two. But I wanted to introduce this to you now so that you were completely aware of how this all worked. So we've got one n, n minus one, and all of these bits that we've got here. And you can use this if you don't want to use your calculator version as well. So I thought that was a useful little bit that's going to prepare you for year two, but we're going to come back in a second and think about why these are all linked together.